From calling Dustin Poirier Louisiana Swamp Trash to calling President Dana White Uncle Fester from the Adams Family, Colby Covington doesn't hold back when it comes to insults. Here are some of Covington's most savage insults, starting with the time he dragged Dustin Poirier. Colby Covington is known in the UFC for being one of the loudest fighters in the game. And unlike other fighters, he doesn't really need an upcoming fight to talk trash. He's perfectly fine doing it completely completely unprovoked. While talking to the schmo, he talked about Dustin Poirier in the most unflattering way you could imagine. Not only did he come for the fighter, but he also decided to insult the fighter's wife in a way that rubbed a lot of UFC fans the wrong way. He said that Poirier was a coward, but that was just the beginning. He then decided to call Poirier's wife's breasts fake, saying she had implants. He then came for her character, saying that she's an indecent person. But once again, even though he'd already crossed the line, he wasn't done just yet. He also accused Dustin of being a bad father. And even that's not it. After he won over Masvidal, he made it clear that his next target in the octagon was Dustin. In an interview with Joe Rogan after his victory over Masvidal, Covington said that he took care of Miami street trash, referring to Masvidal. He said that now it was time for him to take care of Louisiana swamp trash, referring to Dustin and swearing at the fighter. He told the fighter to name a site and bring his wife and child to the fight so they could see him go down. But if you think all that was bad, just wait till you hear what he said about this next fighter, Kamaru Usman. Usman and Covington have had beef for the longest time, and both fighters have exchanged some pretty savage insults over the years. Though I would say that Covington is far worse in his insults. Shocker, I know. Colby was having a bit of a bad time in his career, before he made a comeback at the main event of UFC Vegas 11 when he beat Tyron Woodley. After the victory, he shouted his pro-Trump lines in his usual manner. At that point, he was confronted by Kamaru, who took a jab at Trump by bringing up his congratulatory phone call. Responding to that, Covington took it too far. He addressed Usman with pretty racist insults that made fans absolutely hate him. Colby mockingly asked the Nigerian-American fighter from whom he got a call, asking, did you get a call from freaking your little tribe? As if this wasn't offensive enough, he then asked him if his people sent him smoke signals and laughed. Yeah, buddy, you're the only one laughing here. And then he called the fighter a joke before calling him Marty Fake Newsman. Colby likes to call the fighter that because he believes that Kamaru has lied to everyone about where he was born, as if he had any reason to. But that's not the only nickname the American has given the Nigerian. He also likes to call him Snoozeman, because according to him, Kamaru has a very boring fighting style. That puts people to sleep, but fighters usually have beef with each other. Covington's different because he literally has beef with everyone. Even journalists aren't safe. Now, journalists can ask some pretty offensive questions of fighters sometimes. So if a fighter replies in the same tone, it all makes perfect sense. But again, Covington doesn't really need to be provoked to savagely insult just about anyone. This one journalist was just another victim. At the UFC 245 athlete panel, Mark Raimondi, a famous journalist in the UFC world, wanted to ask the fighter a question. He tried to ask a few times, but decided not to disturb Covington who was busy using his phone. After a while, the journalist decided to give it a go and ask away. But before that, he politely said that his question was just for Colby, but he didn't want to interrupt whatever the fighter was doing on his phone. Colby apparently thought that this was backhanded and took offense, but instead of just ignoring it as a lot of other athletes would have, he decided to throw a savage and witty insult the journalist's way. The fighter quickly put down his phone and said that he was just swiping right on the journalist's girlfriend on a dating app. He then smiled menacingly while looking at the journalist dead in his eyes. The journalist ignored the remark and went ahead with his question, asking him about the suit Colby was wearing at the panel. Still, savagely insulting journalists is one thing, but coming for the president of the UFC himself? That's big. Dana White. We all know how Covington loves to give fighters insulting nicknames, and they're almost always funny, even if they're not accurate. You've got to give it to him. The man comes up with some pretty clever ones, especially the nickname he 
gave to UFC President Dana White because it was not only hella accurate, but honestly, it's really funny too. Back in 2019, the fighter thought he was robbed of his title shot because UFC put Woodley and Usman against each other for the title. Being angry at the whole situation, he ended up confronting the UFC president himself at a casino. But that wasn't the fun part. While he was walking up to confront Dana White, he decided to record himself telling people what he was going to say. He then went ahead and called Dana Uncle Fester, a character from the Adams family. And honestly, I kind of see the resemblance. The bald head, the creepy smile, it fits perfectly. Tell me down in the comments section if you guys see the resemblance, because I think it's uncanny. But not all his savage insults are this harmless, especially when he talks about other fighters in the UFC, like what he said about his next fighter, Hamzat Shimaev. Hamzat Shimaev and Covington have had beef for a long time, and that's no secret to anyone. Both of them trash talk each other from time to time, but no one can beat Covington at this game. While speaking about the fighter, he said that when Chimaev had COVID in 2021, he was ready to give up and quit the UFC. He then called COVID the common cold. Colby said that this is the reason why he doesn't take anything that the fighter says seriously. He then stated the facts and called out Chimaev, talking about how the fighter hasn't beaten anyone in the top 10 fighters. Comparing that to himself, he said that he's been in the top 10 for the past 10 years and has beaten champion. After after champion in the octagon. He also said that all Chimaev ever does is talk. Talk is cheap, he said. He added that everyone in the UFC is running their mouth, but only a few have the guts to go ahead and do something. Chimaev is one of these fighters who hype themselves up but can't do much. Covington called the fighter a kid and said that he was ready to give up and retire when he had a common cold. Now, this was mostly just him spitting facts, but not all his insults are based on facts, but they're always pretty, well, insulting. Just like when he called this next fighter a bad father and a liar, Jorge Masvidal. In an interview, Masvidal said the fighter came for not only the fighter's ability to fight, but also his fatherly instincts. He said that Masvidal said he wanted to fight for his kids, but he doesn't really care about them. He added that he knows this because he met his ex-wife recently. He also said that the fighter lies about who his wife is because according to the internet, his wife and mother of his children is Iman Kawa. But in reality, his wife and mother of his children is Maritza Collado, who is still on his marriage certificate. He then called him a bad father and a terrible fighter before hoping that he gets to expose him to the world soon. Damn! Okay, Mr. Covington. And that was all about some of Colby Covington's most savage insults.